I was then fired from my job. That's right, I was fired. No, I'm not one to celebrate somebody's downfall. I don't enjoy doing that, but today's an exception. Today we're gonna be taking a look at some good old fashioned karma in action and probably the most satisfying ending to a video I've seen in a long time. This right here is the subject of today's video and right off the bat, I can't be the only one who thinks that she looks exactly like you'd imagine a Karen to look like. It's almost like she purposefully went for that exact look and who knows, maybe she did. I will say though, the Karen look definitely matches her personality because like every rational, level-headed adult, here she is having an absolute temper tantrum at McDonald's and smashing her burger like a lunatic. All because an employee did the unthinkable and accidentally put too much ketchup on her burger. Little did she know though, someone managed to catch this encounter on footage, almost like a cameraman recording some rabid species in the wild for the Discovery Channel. Except the Discovery Channel is my channel in this case, and it ended up having some disastrous consequences for her, but without further ado, Let's take a look. Sir, catch up. Where's your manager? Can I speak to your manager? Sir, can you please come to the back? Yeah, sure. I asked for extra ketchup and I bought you. What? What is this? What is this? This is so much ketchup. Look at my go for it. Oh my god, it's like she's trying to emulate the stereotypical Karen at the best of her abilities. I mean, she's got the whole starter pack here. She's got the outfit, the haircut with the frosted tips, the sunglasses, the disgusting attitude of a wet shit stain. And of course, we can't forget the signature move and ability of the Karen species, which is asking for a manager. To be fair to her though, it does seem like they got her order wrong, you know, which sucks and isn't her fault, but still doesn't work or Hulk smashing the entire goddamn burger on the counter for a ketchup mistake by a minimum wage employee, and then berating the employees like they just committed some unspeakable, unforgivable uh, war crime. Like, it's not that deep. This could have been solved with one <laughs> simple interaction. And to defend the employees, it sounds like she asked for extra ketchup and- I asked for extra ketchup? By all means, it definitely looks like she got extra ketchup, so how the hell are you gonna get this mad and break out into rage like this when they were just following instructions. What? What is this? What is this? What this is so much ketchup. Look at my can I go for it? I can't eat that. Are you making right. fun of me because I'm on a diet? Different. Are we going to have a diet? What a healthy meal to be ordering while on a diet. Cause you know, if I'm on a diet, the first place to get some food that comes to my mind is McDonald's, of course. I guess I just never knew that Big Macs are the essential diet food, if anyone was wondering. Yeah, if you wanna lose weight, go shove some Big Macs in your face. This is such a baffling and stupid situation, especially considering it practically <laughs> ruins her life later. She's having this conniption fit over essentially having too much ketchup on her burger. Too much for her diet at least. Yet she's the one who asked for extra ketchup in the first place. How about just adding the ketchup yourself? It's it's a crazy idea, I know, but it, it might just work. Or how about just not getting any extra ketchup in the first place if you're taking this diet so goddamn seriously? Better yet, how about not going to a fucking McDonald's at all? <laughs> Now here's where things get pretty interesting. This video did end up going pretty viral on TikTok, getting a few million views, as a quality McDonald's public freakout should. And it turns out the Big Mac Hulk smasher herself ended up making a follow-up video after the backlash, still wearing the same shades. Uh, I'm not sure if she ever takes those off. But this is just such a satisfying video to watch. I don't think there could have been a more satisfying and happy ending to this story. 
So I wanted to come out and publicly let everyone know that that was me in the video. After this video was published on TikTok, it went viral and news organizations wrote about me. And I honestly have no idea. I am simply baffled that this is possible. People found out where I work and they sent the video to my employer. I was then fired from my job. That's right, I was fired, which I find to be extremely unfair because all I was doing was going to get my weekly cheat meal and it was the McDonald's employees that did not follow the simple directions that I asked for. So I felt that I had the right to come in and let them know that my burger was not made correctly. I did nothing wrong. Literally, I did nothing wrong. So please leave me alone. This is extremely unfair of you guys to do this to me. Thank you. It's actually almost amazing how delusional she is to think that she was somehow in the right. What is this? What is this? I did nothing wrong. Literally, I did nothing wrong. Yeah, I did nothing wrong. I only smashed a Big Mac and had a temper tantrum berating some McDonald's employees for putting a little extra ketchup in my burger. There's nothing wrong with making some minimum wage worker's job harder, right? I don't think I've ever seen somebody embody a Karen more than this. She's really the face of all Karens now, now that I think about it. Now, it would have been one thing if she was apologetic and had a little remorse over the ketchup episode but the fact she's doubling down makes her losing her job 100% deserved. In the age of smartphones, if you're caught on footage doing some scummy shit, you best believe people will find your real name, find out where you work, where you live, and sooner or later you'll be up Shit's Creek. I was then fired from my job. That's right, I was fired. Which I find to be extremely unfair. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Or in this case, you mess with the McDonald's employee, you ruin your life. Sugar and ketchup? That's what happens when you let Big Macs dictate your mental state. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And until then, stay sexy. Peace.